If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over a few things here. We got brand new content, some updates, and of course, our free player. Now, guys, for today's shout out for the Poodle Squad, as you guys do know, and if you want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do, as per usual, is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, be subscribed, of course, and turn on that noti bell, which you all those things you guys are entered to be shouted out. Now, today's shout out goes to David Krause. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you, man. I appreciate all you guys, honestly, who come out each and every day and support and comment and just keep showing love. Now, guys, moving on from that, we do have the new content today. We have new stuff. If you guys need any coins to pick up the new content, some training, even the players, you can go to my the website down below, muttreserve.com. Use code Poodle. You get an additional 15% off. You can buy training, players, the flashbacks, coins, literally anything directly on there. And things are currently discounted, so take advantage. And, of course, use the code for an extra 15% off. But, that's about it for that. Let's get into this, guys. So, the new stuff is pretty fire. We didn't think we were going to get flashbacks this year. Finally, guys, it does appear we are going to be getting it. Now, the thing was prior to yesterday's of real of this we had the team of the week flashback as players so we kind of thought that took over flashbacks but for wildcard ones it appears that flashbacks will be making a return which is cool i do appreciate that we'll be seeing that we'll be seeing five like we can see with heavyweights and other stuff it's possible we're gonna go into this in just a second check out all the new stuff in there but i do want to go over the free players so you do have a choice of free nick chubb jalen ramsey or keenan allen now for me personally i'll show you guys what i'm gonna take now i do have to open up these packs first and get my uh, get my thing. So the way this works, guys, a lot of you been asking. All you gotta do is sit there for an hour. Now, what I typically do is with the new iOS update. I just go on Twitch. I go on it and I, I just throw it to the corner of my screen and just sit there while I use my phone for the hour. Super simple to do. All you gotta do is do that. You get your free token by watching Derwin uh, Derwin James vs. the World. Very easy to do. This should be my last one right in here, somewhere in here. It's always hidden in one of these packs. And then once we get this open, we can go ahead. Now I did take a look at Keenan Allen, uh, Chubb, and the. Jalen Ramsey. Now, I'm gonna be honest, none of them are overpower looking. Now, Jalen Ramsey does appear to be the best one. I just wish that he actually had uh, a chance to be powered up, of course, because that is what's kind of gonna hurt him. Because Jalen Ramsey only gets an 88 speed, Nick Chubb gets an 87. I believe Keenan Allen gets an 87. Now, for Keenan Allen, that's not as slow as I expected him to be. Nick Chubb's not horrible, honestly. 87 speed's not not horrible. But again, I'm gonna go with Ramsey here. Ramsey seems like the guy that's gonna actually be able to play for me. I'm gonna toss my last one, and I'll show you guys the stats real quick. Uh, of course, if you want to look at all their stats, go over to Mudhead. But if you could power this guy up, it'd be a lot, lot better. Because then, of course, you can get him up to like 89 speed. But let's check him out. He's got 88 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility, 89 jumping, 88 play rec, 89 zone, 89 man, 89 zone, 89 press. So, again, for this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and put some lockdown on him. That's really all you got to do. Go on him, put some put lockdown on him, and pretty much... Oh, he can't even get that. Well, that's, that's concerning. All right, there it is. I, I had a feeling it might have just been the screen. Because, again, that is highly concerning that you couldn't have put that stuff. That, they would have completely, completely ruined this card. So, of course, go ahead. Put Lockdown times 2. I'm going to more training. I'll go pick that up. Lockdown times 2 will make this Ramsey a lot better. This is my personal pick. But Lockdown times 2 will get you to 90 man. It'll get you it'll, it'll get above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 press, above 90 play rec. It's going to be one of the most Lockdown corners in the game. Just going to be a bit on the slower side. But, again, I'll rock him as a second or third corner. He'll get the job done. I'll rock him. Dion and Byron Jones for the most part. I think that's a, that's a fine trio right there, cornerbacks. Real quick, before we get into the flashbacks, they did just announce that Mutt Rewards will be coming later today, so do stay tuned for that if you don't have your account link. Go into Mutt Rewards, uh, you know, mutt.com, mutrewards.com, whatever it is, and go link up your account. Make sure you get that done because, of course, you don't miss out on some free Mutt Rewards. Now, what is it pertaining to? Honestly, I don't, I, I have no idea. Could it be some free training for some flashbacks? I'm not sure. By the way, guys, quick advice. Um, do not open up those training offer flashbacks on the store. That's why I don't open them. It's 3,800 training, and the cards are going for 108K, as you guys can see here. But we did get five. Excited to go over. We got Robert Woods and Mariota on this first page here. I see Sue, Greg Olson, plenty of great guys. Let's go over Robert Woods. Oh, and there they go. All right, let's go over Robert Woods first. And at the end of the video, I'm, I'm going to show you guys the Chubb and Keenan Allen stats as well, if there's still time here. I'm going to go down here. Greg Olson to start with. Start there, because I know he won't be bought out. So Greg Olson, 83 speed, 71 strength, 91 catching, 91 catching traffic, 88 spec, 88 short, and 85 medium route running, 65 run blocking. This card looks almost identical to his last year's Mud Hero card around the same time. 89 overall card. Uh, not bad. It looks like a more budgety version of Tony Gonzalez or um, Jimmy Graham. Very similar. Similar speed, similar route running, Jermichael Finley, all, all very similar. I don't really see much of a differentiation here. 
But of course, if you don't hit the route running uh, stuff anyways, you might as well just go with Greg Olson because he is the cheaper option. Next, we got Ndamukong Su. Let's see how this card looks. 70 overall speed, 79 uh, excel, 93 strength is solid, 87 tackle solid, 88 player rank, 89 block shed, 83 power move. Now, the issue with him is going to be that he cannot pass rush. Now, you could move him to defensive tackle and use him as like a pure run stuffer, but I'm not a fan of that. So, so far, Greg Olson's good. He can easily be substituted for Finley and those guys, depending on threshold and what you can get. Now, in Kung Su, not so much. I don't think this card's too great, but the card art's awesome, guys. I'm not going to lie. Some of the best flashback card art they've had in a while. I think it looks super cool. Uh, moving on to the next one, we have Mariota, who I really want to see. Let me just find a card lower down. So, Marks Mariota. Let's see what he's got going for him. 89 speed, 89 throw power, 88 short accuracy, 85 medium accuracy, 84 deep accuracy, 85 throw under pressure, 86 throw on the run, 87 play action. He's actually really good. If you do chem him up, go deep, you can get his throw power above a 90. He'll have an 89 speed. He'll have a um, deep accuracy of like an 87. Not bad, guys. Honestly, not bad at all. If you want a better thrower, though, you probably want to go with something that gets some short accuracy to hit that threshold. But in my opinion, guys, I honestly think that this Mario is pretty good. I think he's pretty good. 89 speed solid. It's, uh, you know, it's pushing towards Vic, Vic levels, Lamar Jackson speed. It's not bad at all. And of course, you don't really need a skate artist this year necessarily to scramble. You can do it without it. And he may still even get a skate artist, actually. If he can't get abilities and stuff on him, of course, you'd have to buy the card and check that all out. Now, honestly, I think this card's pretty solid. I think Mariota's pretty solid. I do like seeing him back. I used to love Mariota. It was a shame that his career is kind of flamed out at this point. 90 speed for Marcus Peters, 89 Excel, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 86 play rec, 89 man, 83 zone, 82 press. Now, his press is kind of low. Now, the beauty of Marcus Peters, I guess, is that he's going to be fast, he's going to be athletic, and you can get his man up to a 90 just with a simple power up. He does have a power up, or you can go ahead and chem him up. Now, if you do go ahead and power him up and chem him up, you can get his. You can get his zone up to like a maximum of like 87. You can get his press up to like an 86 and his man up to like an 83. So in my opinion, yes, he's great. Cause you can get his man, you can get his play rec above 90, man, man above 90 and his speed to a 91, which is actually a really solid corner. He's gonna be like baby Denzel Ward, just no press. So if you're not a press guy, but you do play man, uh, Mark Speed is gonna be a really great budgety option of Denzel Ward. Similar for the most part. And we have one last guy, which is Robert Woods, who should be the fifth and final guy for this flashback drop today. 88 speed, 85 excel, 90 catching, 88 catching traffic, 86 spec, 88 short running, 88 medium route running, 85 deep route running. Um, Kind of slow. I, I, I kind of was hoping he'd be at least an 89 speed. I mean, powered up and chemmed up, guys. He's going to get to an 89 speed. Going to get above a 90 catching, of course. Going to get above, hopefully, a medium route running above a 90 if you do have the right uh, chems on him. His 88 catching traffic should get up to a 90, depending on, again, what you use. He's going to be a very, very, very well-rounded wide receiver. He will be great on theme teams, of course. Now, in my opinion, I don't think he's that great. Now, to go over who I think can actually start for a regular-style uh, squad, uh, and Dama Kung Su, only if you're going to use him as a defensive tackle and you power him up. Greg Olson can start in a regular team, in my opinion. He's not bad. So, Greg Olson's good. Mariota's actually good for, like, a budgety squad. And then I think Marcus Peters actually can start on most teams too as well. Depending again, depending on if you have if you don't have a lot of coins and you have a regular style squad, you can't afford Denzel Ward. You can get Marcus Peters more of a budgety option. Although I do not think he replaces Ward, I think he could be like a, a poor man's option per se. Now, not a bad first week drop of flashbacks. Of course, only 89 overalls. I mean, if they were 90s, it'd be a little better. But 89, it's not bad. I'm just happy to see flashbacks back. I'm just happy to see that we have cool card art again for the most part because. I wasn't really feeling last year's flashback card art. Let me guys, let me show you guys Chubb and Allen's stats real quick, and that should be it for the video. So Nick Chubb right here, 90 overall halfback, real quick, 88 speed, 87 excel, 87 jumping. Uh, let's see, 80 strength, 87 trucking, 80 change of direction, 91 ball carry vision, 86 stiff arm, 72 spin move, 82 juke move, 91 carrying, and 93 break tackle. A super super solid power back. Um, I wish this, if he could be powered up, he'd be a lot better. If he can get up to an 89 speed, kind of resembles a Bo Jackson s kind of guy more budgety version of Bo. I don't think it's Nick Chubb's the move because there's just so many eligible halfbacks in my opinion. And then, like I said, I think Jalen's the best one. But to show you guys Keenan Allen real quick, just to go through him. 87 speed, I believe, yup. 89 excel, 89 agility, 87 jumping, 89 awareness, 87 catching, 88 catching traffic, 86 spec, 88 90 short running, 88 medium out running, 85 deep out running, 89 release. I think this card is a, would be a decent theme team. Again, if it's theme team oriented, pick who you need. But for the best card on a regular squad, probably going to be Jalen Ramsey. In the long-term outlook, probably going to be Jalen Ramsey. Once it can be powered up, of course, as well. You're going to need that card anyways, or you can probably use the training power pass S thing. But again, rather just take the free card now. Of course, you can get all three of them, so don't think that if you take one, you're screwed. But the one you could use now, 
is obviously going to be the one that you take down. It's going to be the one that's going to be usable because once you get the other ones, you'll probably be, they'll probably be outdated. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you do want to join the Poodle Squad and be shouted out, all you got to do is comment down below Poodle Squad. Like the video, turn on the notification bell, and of course, be subscribed, guys. If you do need coins, take up any of these players, flashbacks, training, and whatever else you guys need. Because Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Click the link. They do sell training. They do sell flashback cards directly. They they do everything pretty much on there. Everything's discounted right now, so take advantage. All you got to do is use code Poodle. Get an additional 15% off, guys. That's about it for the video. I'm out. Peace.